Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I am here with my second layout using the January Hip Kit. And I'm going to be scrapbooking this picture of my husband and I in front of the first airplane that he flew on for the Air Force. He flew on the KC-10. Um, he was the boom operator for six years, and we lived, uh, we were stationed at Travis Air Force Base in California for the first six years that he was in the Air Force. And uh, one year we had um, a photographer came out and did pictures um, out in front of the KC-10 and we used those for Christmas cards one year. And then I had an extra one just kind of laying around so I was like, um, I should put that on a page. <laughs> so, so I did. Um, so I'm using that background paper there is by Amy Tangerine. And I also used the, um, the navy that has the polka dot on the back and I'm using the back side of that for layering and that's by Dear Lizzie. And then this paper right here is also by Dear Lizzie, both from her serendipity line. And um, the the little, what is that, a herringbone? No, that's a, what, a, what is that paper called? <laughs> What's that pattern? I'm not even 100% sure what that pattern is called. Um, that one is by Heidi Swap, and that actually came in the December kit, and I had a piece left over, so I'm going to use that on here since the colors go really well with what I'm doing here. And um, I used a three inch hole punch to punch out the little cut apart card there. And it says uh, keep, I have to see when it comes up, when I move my tray, <laughs> what it says. Um, but I'm kind of, oh, I can't even, I think it says keep moving forward or something like that. Um, and I'm kind of doing my journaling on this layout about how my husband, he went into the Air Force enlisted and then finished his degree while he was in the Air Force and then decided, wanted to become an officer to pursue, you know, other things. And I've always been really proud of him because he always had that goal is to become an officer. Even though he didn't go in that way, he knew he wanted to go that way and kind of just move up in his career. So uh, I'm, that's what my journaling is going to be about because that's where we started on the KC-10. And, you know, now we are four other bases later <laughs> and he's still moving up. So um, I think we're kind of at a point now where this is going to be his last kind of final flying career. And then he'll be doing like staff jobs, you know, and things like that. He's going to start moving up and maybe try to take some command positions if he gets the opportunity to do that. So um, I'm just really proud of him for, you know, wanting to keep going and keep moving up and things like that. So that's what my journaling is going to be about. And um, I'm using these watercolor word cuts. These are from Dear Lizzie, and they are word cuts that are cut out of watercolor paper. So they stand up to water really, really well. And I'm using my gelatos here, and those are in, ooh, the yellow one is margarita, and I can't remember the name of the blue one right now, to be honest with you. Well, I don't remember the name of it, uh, but it's a nice, like, aqua color, and I put both of them on the letters and I'm just blending them together. And I don't really care, you know, where the colors turn out and just, I'm just kind of doing it. Um, I'm, I haven't blended before like that, so that was fun. And it actually ends up looking a little bit tie-dye. It looks really cool um, when I get it all done. So I have that done, I'm gonna let that dry. I have to let it dry for a while. <laughs> so those things take a little while to dry. Um, I actually end up turning off the camera and going and doing some stuff and then come back and put it on. So um, so I'm gonna, I'm going ahead and getting my layers put down. My picture's a little bit crooked, so I'm going to redo it real quick. Um, and I really, I just really like the way this turned out. I like the color scheme of it. Um, you know, mostly blue, and then I pull in a little bit of the lime green there as well. And I am putting a couple of these acetate black arrows. And I did use my ATG. You can see it. I'm not stressing out about it, though, honestly. Like, whatever. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do except my tiny toucher. And I didn't really want to, you know, pull my tiny toucher out and try to do that. So it's just like, eh, whatever. Um, and then I have a Remember die cut there from... All the die cuts are from Heidi Swap. Um, they all came in the kit. There was one big package. Um, and it came in acetate and paper die cuts. So 
That cloud is a puffy sticker from Dear Lizzie, and it says Dream a Little Bigger. And that goes along with, you know, what my journaling is going to be about, you know, about dreaming bigger and wanting to keep, keep going and moving up and doing things like that. So I'm taking some of these die cuts here and I'm just layering them up in the top just to make a little corner. And I put that light bulb there because kind of like, um, you know, shining, shining your light and, you know, getting ideas and moving forward and things like that. So that's why I put that up there. And I keep, check, I keep checking those things, and they are just not drying. <laughs> so um, I could have pulled out my heat gun if I really wanted to, but I just, meh. It's fine. I'll just walk away for a little bit and come back later and finish it up. I think I had to go get Kaylin anyway, so from school. Um, so I'm using these Dear Lizzie letter stickers to spell out KC-10, and that's the name of the airplane. And um, I used the gold ones so that they stood out a little bit more. And then these cork pieces are from Ellie Studio, and those came in the kit as well. So I have the banner up there by the picture, and then two cork stars. And I think I'm just trying to figure out what else I can do while I'm waiting for my words to dry, because I can't put those words on, you know, definitely until they're dry. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling. And, uh, you know, journaling is just everything I was talking about, <laughs> you know. Uh, he loved being on the KC-10, and we had a really great squadron and a great community and made some friends that we still have today. And this was back in, we left in 2008. And, um, you know, we're still friends with a lot of those people. And, uh, but he always, he went into it knowing that he wanted to, you know, keep moving up and, you know, be an officer and do things like that. So I'm really proud of him and how far he's come. And um, I've actually always said I really appreciated the fact that he was enlisted because I think it makes him a better officer because he's been on both sides of the Air Force now. So he's been enlisted and he's been an officer and he understands a little bit more, I think, than brand new, fresh officers straight out of college who've never had any military experience. So I think that's something that's going to make him, I think it makes him a better um, Air Force member. Personally, I'm completely unbiased in this too, guys. <laughs> um, I'm using these Queen and Company... <laughs> I did a little dance. Um, I used up a package um, of those Queen and Company Aqua Dots. They're kind of like enamel dots, but they're they're solid and they're a little bit smaller. But I used up that package, and I've had it for a while, so I was happy to use that. Um, and I'm using that puffy sticker that says Believe. I put that right underneath and kind of layered it a little bit with the Remember there. And now I came back. My letters are dry, so I'm going to go ahead and put these down using my quick dry adhesive. I'm trying to be careful because the letters are thin, so I didn't I didn't want like glue to be squeezing out. It does a little bit, but it's not too bad. I just didn't want I didn't want it everywhere. And I have that stinking bottle that is really <laughs> really thick. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about getting one of those. Um, I saw Sherry on her one of her videos. Um, I think it was her essentials videos where she has the really thin applicator. So I think I'm going to try to find that. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you again real soon. Bye.